story. Oh, yeah. the story Love that story interesting. There. But I use <laughs> tea. I, I really do like tea. I like coffee as well, though. Tea is quite an anchor for me. I have to have a cup of tea. It's nice mm. to have tea. And if we can anchor a, a, a more conducive state, because we'll talk about the power of changing one's state, mm -hmm. because your, cha your state changes anyway. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have a little control over it. And in Britain, one of the things we do to have control over our state is to utilise things like tea, um, mm -hmm. like um, anything that you can do to make yourself feel better. It's nice to know what your anchors already are mm -hmm. to make yourself feel better. Like you said about the red, you know, perk ourselves up with the vibration of red, even if it's saucy red underwear, you naughty girl, Claire. <laughs> um, <laughs> It makes you feel energised, doesn't it? It brings it alive, you know, yeah. these anchors. Mm. And so you've got great anchors and then you've got, okay, so I've never, ever, ever had a fine for speeding in my life. And I was on the little road in Jersey. It's a 30 miles an hour road. And I was going 34 miles on that road and I got stopped by a police officer who took me to court for a 34 miles an hour making a speed ticket. So every time I go through that road, I will reduce my speed to 30 miles an hour. That's an anchor, isn't it? Oh, yes. And it, it, we might argue whether it's an anchor to keep yourself or other people safe or if it is um, uh, an, a negative anchor that induces a state of tension that need yeah. not be there. You know, yes. we can be careful or we can be, be tense and uh, stressful when we really, I mean, <sighs> people might argue, who's listening? People can, might argue with this that the difference of four miles an hour could make a, a huge difference to one's safety. I don't know. I'm sure there's some experts out there that do know. But sometimes it's uh, viewed here as a bit of a money-making machine that um, I, I was, um, it's confession time, I was <laughs> for speeding and I was doing 35 miles an hour in oh. a 30-mile-an-hour limit. And I think for me, Claire, the... The irritation with that is that there are there are people that really do break the speed limit big time, and I didn't really want to be classed as the same as them. I had a speeding ticket. I had the opportunity to go on a speed awareness course to be aware that I was doing 35 miles an hour as opposed to 30, um, or to pay £100. And I thought, well, you know, I don't really want to spend the time. This is the difference, you know, anchors of time and money. I don't want to spend my time being told that I am not aware of the speed that I'm going at because I, I really was aware I was doing 35 miles an hour and I thought it was appropriate for the environment I was in. But obviously <laughs> not to our boys in blue. I do apologise <laughs> and I am suitably contrite so i'm sorry about that but yes i understand exactly what you mean claire it's an anchor now whenever i go to that stretch of road i feel wrong <laughs> I feel <like> criminal. <laughs> yes so we we create do we create anchors or do our mind create anchors well i guess now our yeah. subconscious mind create anchors doesn't it this is where I've got my flashcards. Ooh, watch you. <laughs> You've done that before. <laughs> I've been doing it for a very long time. Yeah. So a lot of our um, anchors come from environment. Of course they do. And um, whilst that is the first of our logical le levels, as we call them, or stepping stones, um, and we might like to think that we are far above our environment, that our state and how we feel has little to do with our surroundings. Obviously, it does, you know. Uh, anchors are kind of presented to us in the environment 
in which we're in, everything that we eat and drink and uh, what affects our well-being, you could say is an anchor. And then we get to know that certain anchors, for some people, it's chocolate. For others, it's alcohol. You know, there's certain anchors that might um, enliven us and make us feel good and make us want to look forward to having them again. And for others, an anchor might be a cigarette that they are despising themselves for needing because they use that to change their state. So the cigarette is a kind of conflict of consciousness within a person because there's very few people I know that actually admit that they enjoy smoking a cigarette. They see it's something that they have to do to create a state within themselves. So anchors are linked to our state, either negative or positive, to help us feel better or bring us down. We don't want to be brought down, do we, Claire? No, 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 no. No, we want to stay in that, um, that positive mindset. But it's not easy, isn't it? Especially with, I mean, phew, the last kind of four months are kind of uh, challenged everybody, haven't they, in, in many, many ways. Um, and even to the point, I guess, you know, even going to work is an anchor because, you know, you get into the car, you get into your habit, you drive to work, you know, you're doing this. So every day you're kind of doing the same thing. And suddenly they had to break that anchor because they were confined. They couldn't go into the car and then do the drive and then come back. They had, you know, things had had to be changed with that, you know, real what people really wanted to do it. They just had to do it. Well, this is where it's really weird, the life of Hypno Woman, because mm -hmm. I've got this strange feeling that you've all just come into rapport with me because I was already working from home. I and was. <laughs> I didn't think it was odd at all that you no. sort of work from home and don't travel. <laughs> the travelling I did was jumping on aeroplanes and present like yourself, presenting in different parts of the world, and now we do it virtually. We do it here. We do it in this through all these pixels and mm. reach out to people. And I can see there's there's several people watching and they haven't been brave enough yet to send us a comment. But I would like to know what do you already recognize as being an anchor for you? What anchors you to a conducive, positive, we say resourceful state, and what brings you down? What do you only have to think about and suddenly you feel disempowered? Mm. It's not a good idea because if you do share one of your anchors with us, we can perhaps help.